stopping by. Um, make sure you hit subscribe and um, even the notification bell. I'm not coming out with videos like every week or anything like that yet. I am hoping in the new year to do maybe once a, once a month, once a month. Um, I obviously I only have two other videos up on my channel um, and I'm just really trying to of finding space for video and how to edit video and I'm still just figuring all that stuff out. So I'm not gonna make any more promises <laughs> for um, consistency more than once a month. I think once a month is a very realistic goal for where I'm at. And so, um, yeah, anyways, thank you for stopping by. Um, this channel is all about sewing and crafting and Bozeman, Montana, where I live. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm originally, just in case you haven't watched my other videos, I'm originally from Wisconsin, so you may see some video footage there too. Um, whenever I visit, I am probably gonna want to put together a little travel video. So anyways, um, my cat Toulouse may stop by in this video, you never know. Um, there was a take earlier when he hopped right up on the back of my chair and was trying to get my blinds. <laughs> not okay. Um, anyways, today I'm here to do a um, haul. And so um, I, I know the, the last two videos on my channel have been hauls. Um, it's just like right now, it's the easiest thing for me to do. And um, I'm not, I haven't figured out how to do tutorial videos and that kind of thing yet. So I have a haul today. It's after Christmas sales. I went to Joann's and Hobby Lobby because that's pretty much all we have here in Bozeman. Um, we do have two quilting stores, but that's all they have is quilting cottons. And I, I don't really love the like loud print quilting cottons. I like, I like um, kind of simple or classic prints as you'll probably see. I have some loud stuff, but I can't wait to show you. So. Um, first, I'm going to dig into some of the home decor that I got from Hobby Lobby. Um, I was recently looking up at my cabinetry and thinking, I just really need some decorations up there. I have one decoration up there and it's all by its lonesome. And so I'm going to try to fill in the top of my cabinets with some really cute things. So I shopped the sale at Hobby Lobby today and I'll kind of show you what I got. So, okay. It's all wrapped up, so it, hopefully the sound isn't too horrible. Okay, so I got this cute jug uh, from Hobby Lobby, and um, I don't know if you can see it, but it kind of is distressed. It kind of looks like it's cracked all over, and I, it looks very intentional. It doesn't look like I bought it broken or anything like that. It just looks very intentional, very cute. Um, so I'm excited about that. Um, and then I bought two other pottery pieces to kind of go beside it on either side. So I'll show you those. Just a second. Okay. So this was what I got to go on either side of that other jug. It's really, really cute. I absolutely love it. Um, yeah, so the other one looks just the same. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some olive branches um, sticking out of this, these guys. And then out of the large jug, I'm gonna put some of these fake flowers in them. So at least I have some decorations for the top of my cabinets going into um, the spring season. I'm very excited about those. Um, yeah, and then this one's just the same pottery that I just showed you. So I will spare you looking at the same thing twice. <laughs> um, okay, so since we're on Hobby Lobby, I will dig into the fabric that I got from Hobby Lobby. Um, so um, I make lots of things with like quilting, with some like quilting cottons, 100% cottons. Um, but I also do, I like buying fashion fabric, fabrics to make scrunchies and different things like that. And so my cat's right here, so he's probably gonna jump up. Um, but I'll show you what I got. So they had a lot of remnants at Hobby Lobby. They had a lot of remnants and um, they also have 
obviously just put like some stuff in clearance. And so um, stuff that was like $3 a yard, I definitely bought some of that. So I'll show you what I got for $3 a yard. Um, I got this really pretty yellow 100% um, cotton fabric. Um, what I'm gonna do with this is I'm going probably going to make some relaxing eye pillows um, and some um, paperless towels with as like the top layer, you know? So that is gonna be really, really cute. I got two yards of that. Um, I also got this like cherry print. I thought, you know, it is kind of loud, but I thought for those, these, I'll do these. Um, I probably will do a tote bag out of this and I'll probably also do a, um, do paperless towels out of this. Some people really like to spice up their kitchen with like pretty towels. And so, um, yeah, I'm going to do that. It's really cute. I got, um, let's see, I think I got two and a half yards of this. It was the end of the bolt. So I was just like, give me the whole bolt. Um, yeah. So I really like that. That's hundred percent cotton. Um, and then this is 100% cotton. It's a little bit nicer. It's not a quilting cotton. Um, and it's kind of a fuchsia. I'm probably going to do some makeup um, remover, remover pads out of this. Um, and then I'm also thinking about doing some relaxing eye pillows out of this, but it might be a little too bright for that. So I'm not sure yet, but it's really pretty. I couldn't pass it by. It was the end of the bolt two and I think I got three yards out of it. So yeah. Okay. So that was the sale fabric that I got out from Hobby Lobby. Now I will show you the um, remnants that I got. There was good stuff. So I'll kind of go through um, kind of some cottons that I got. Um, there's this really cute um, barbecue uh, quilting cotton that I thought was just really adorable um and it's popular here in montana like the barbecue culture the beef it's what's for dinner <laughs> you know kind of a thing so i am probably gonna make my grandparents they don't watch youtube so i can say that i'm probably gonna make my grandparents something out of this um they always have all the grandkids over for holidays and i think it'd be really cool to make them like um, like a little wrap around apron or um, or even some paperless towels out of this fabric. It very much matches their vibe. So I think that is like super cute for a gift. Um, okay, the other quilting cotton that I got, um, farm animals uh, style is like also super popular here in Montana. And so I found this like really cute 100% cotton farm animal fabric. So I'm really, really excited about that. And I'm probably going to do paperless towels out of those. Um, and then I got this like plain green 100% cotton. It's got a little bit of like a texture to it. Like there's some parts of it are darker green, some are lighter green. So there is my cat. Hello, stop it. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's cute. I also, I have picked up this remnant a couple of times. They're like Swiss crosses and I'm making some laptop cases out of these. Um, this is actually, so the laptop case is just plain black and then this is the pocket. Um, I'm making these to sell hopefully on Etsy. So um, those Swiss crosses are just really classic and I just love it. Okay, two more from Hobby Lobby. So this one is just a canvas. Hi Toulouse, isn't he cute? Um, don't do that, no. Um, this one is just a canvas, uh, like natural looking fabric. Um, loose stop and I use these for tote bag straps so I'm going to cut this up into strips and make a bunch of tote bag straps out of those 
Um, you can make almost any tote bag I've found with like a natural color looking um, strap. And so, yeah. Um, last but certainly not least from Hobby Lobby was two and a half yards of white satin. Two and a half yards of white satin. It says there's a note on there that says damaged, dirty, and I don't even care. Like I will cut around it. You know what I mean? It was, let's see, it was five dollars for two and a half yards of satin, and I plan to make um, some scrunchies out of this white satin. So, yeah, I have been. I just started working with satin, and I really love sewing it. And so I was delighted to find this much of it. Um, for so cheap. So yeah, that is it for Hobby Lobby. <clears throat> now let me show you what I got from Joanne Fabrics. Possibly, in, it, there's less in this, um, but it's possibly my favorite of the whole haul. So um, Hobby, let's, Hobby Lobby had a lot more remnants. Um, Joanne Fabrics had Today they had like no remnants. I was like, who in the heck beat me to the remnants? Someone like, are you kidding me? Someone just like bought them all. So <laughs> anyways, I only got a few remnants. I will show you those first because they're kind of a letdown compared to what I got on sale. So <laughs> um, I got a few like, Christmassy ones because I figured I can save it for next year and they'll be very cute. So this is just like a black cotton with some mittens. Um, so next Christmas, I'll probably make mini scrunchies or something out of that. Um, and then this one is a little snowman present remnant fabric. Um, again, it was just super on sale and there wasn't a lot of, to choose from and um, I had driven all the way there, so I picked up what I could, and this will be, this will be for next Christmas season. Um, the other thing I picked up was more natural canvas, um, for those tote bag straps I was telling you about. And, um, last, but certainly not least, I got four gorgeous, just gorgeous, um, fabrics that were on sale. I, I used to only shop remnants, but I'm getting to the point where I kind of need some yardage so that I can make a lot of different things. So I'm shopping the clearance section, which has absolute, absolutely beautiful things. And so um, there's nothing wrong with shopping the clearance section. Okay, so the first thing is kind of cheesy, but I thought it was perfect. Um, this fabric has little sails on it and it says um let your dreams set sail and i got two yards of this i just really think that this will be great for relaxing eye pillows um let your dreams set sail maybe you fall asleep and you let your dreams set sail you know so <laughs> that is what that looks like it's just it's just dreamy you know what i mean <laughs> okay, so um, the next one that I got on sale is definitely going to be for some um, unpaper towels, or sorry, paperless towels. Um, unpaper towels is trademarked, so can't use that. Um, yeah, so it's just like a leafy kind of, they have, you know, it's kind of, the base is kind of like a cream, and then it has like a darker green and a lighter green leaf pattern throughout if you can't tell so that's really really pretty it was the end of the bolt for this one and yeah there wasn't very much left of that so I think it's like a yard and a half honestly um and then this one is very similar but a little larger scale um and it's a thicker fabric so again all of this is 100% cotton um you know, just want to be as um, transparent as possible with the kind of things that I sew with. Um, so this is like thicker. This could definitely be like a tote bag fabric. Um, but I am thinking if I don't do tote bags with it, I'll do some more paperless towels. 
Um, I've been wanting to experiment with like a thicker fabric on top of the cotton. Um, I've been using broadcloth and I just think it's too thin. So this is a lot thicker. I got two yards of this um, and yeah, I can't wait to go back and look a little th more thorough at what they have on clearance because there's just so much of it and <laughs> a lot to choose from. So that's what that looks like. Okay, my favorite uh, of all time is 70% off, <laughs> end of the bolt. So you get a discount, an extra discount when you get the end of the bolt. So I'm pretty certain that I got three yards because it was that's all that was left. Um, I gotta get close to show you how pretty this is. It has a shine to it that you can't see, I don't think. Um, but it's very drapey um, and it's going to make beautiful scrunchies. Um, I think I'm gonna do scrunchies out of it. It feels a little bit like a waist, but I just, as soon as I looked at it, I saw scrunchies. So I have to go with my gut and it's very, very beautiful. Lately, the like cotton scrunchies haven't been selling as well, um, but the like shiny satin, like those have been selling better. And so I'm gonna try to make some nicer looking um, scrunchies. So that's it for my haul. Um, I hope you enjoyed looking at what I got. Um, I really, really hope to get into some more actual crafting on this channel very soon. Again, no promises. I'm still learning um, the video making process. Um, it's also helping me in my full-time job. In my full-time job, I do um, marketing and fundraising for a nonprofit. And I've never, I'm, I'm really good with photos and with um, like creating graphics, but I've never been so good at putting videos together. And so this is really just helping me um, learn. It's helping to push me to learn these skills. Um, and so, and to kind of get with the times because I'm 30 now and I'm falling behind in the marketing world. It's all about video now, you know? So um, yeah, I am really excited. Um, to share more of myself on here with you and I just really hope that you'll subscribe and um, hit that notification bell and like this video because um, if you do more fabric calls will pop up in your feed so I hope you have a wonderful day or night or whatever it is and we will see you in the next one mm -hmm.